today I have a great conversation uh, with uh, Cesar Flores uh, in a diesel, diesel Pro Power. And uh, in this specific uh, conversation, uh, we are going to talk about the tachometers and uh, what type of tachometers are recommended in different applications. I receive a, a different uh, phone calls and emails asking about uh, uh, how to install the tachometers, what is the tachometer recommended for my engine, depending on the manufacturer. And uh, my recommendation always is install in the in the console, in the dashboard, originals. But uh, the majority of the people, technician and engineer, they prefer install additional extra gauge oil pressure, temperature, fuel, tachometer in the engine room. In the engine room, I recommend analog, analog uh, electric, analog mechanical. And I founded some years ago a great company located in Miami, Florida, in the United States. It's a diesel pro power. Diesel pro power is, 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 is a distributor of a lot of products uh, for diesel engines uh, for different manufacturers specialized in marine. It, it, your focus is marine, no? It's basically uh, that, that the focus. That's no? right. Yes. Marine, marine engines. And uh, uh, 180 countries, they, they distribute the, the products in, in 180 countries in different uh, parts of the world and uh, more than 30,000 uh, customers, uh, great facilities in Miami with a, a big stock of products. And uh, now we are going to focus in the, in the tachometers. Uh, I love those tachometers because uh, those tachometers are fabricated. You are the fabricator of those tachometers, no? That's right. Yes, uh, Mr. Lopez, thank you for stopping by. You know, um, that's that's right. You know, the, we we do manufacture our own tachometers, and uh, we do have to, a division of tachometers, which is uh, we divide them into mechanical tachometers and electrical tachometers. Mechanical like this, and electrical like this. What is the main difference? Well, the, the main difference is uh, um, mechanical tachometers. There are being uh, they read the RPMs directly from the engine uh -huh. through a mechanical cable. Cable, basically. Yes, in uh, electrical tachometers, there are analog tachometers that reads the RPM from a magnetic pickup that is installed on the flywheel, or you can install it from the alter alternator or the digital coil box. You remember in uh, in different classes, I explained the procedure to install those electric uh, tachometers. There are two possibilities. One possibility from uh, the uh, AC output terminal in the alternator, and other one with a sensor, with a specific sensor located in the bell housing in, in, front, in front of uh, the flywheel. And the flywheel have a magnetic uh, a device that uh, in each rotation sends the rotation of the engine. This is simple, no? Well then, yes, it, it is very simple. The, we do have two options, you know. We do have this same magnetic pickup, but two different sizes, three quarters and five eight. Um, the main function of this, what it is, is just like, like the word says, is a sender that picks up the the magnetics. Uh, what it does is just read the amount of teeth in the flywheel, mm -hmm. and once you uh, know the amount of teeth that you have on the flywheel, you can get that information with the serial number. Then you calibrate the tachometer, and every, for example, you know if a flywheel has 113 teeth, mm -hmm. so you calibrate the tachometer that every time the magnetic pickup receives the pulses of 113 teeth, it will send a signal for one RPM. Uh, I saw a lot of uh, generators that uh, in the bell housing is installed this uh, this uh, sensor, and uh, what is the function of the calibration? Well, this is the flywheel. Yeah, well, the flywheel, the main function, you know, actually what it does is just, it will read the, between each teeth of the flywheel, it will be a space. So the magnetic picker will read the metal between uh -huh. each teeth, and that will give them uh, the sense of one teeth. So, uh, like I was mentioning, if it's 113 teeth or 114, um, every time the magnetic pickup sends a signal for 114 pulses to the uh, tachometer, that will mean one RPM, and that pretty much how, that's how we function. That's how we reach the amount of RPMs on the engine. It's a very the, simple system. The amount of RPM if it's an engine with transmission, or the frequency if it's a generator, because remember that the frequency is directly related with the engine RPMs. Great. This is basically the sensor, no? That is pretty much what it is. It's a magnetic pickup, it's you know, sensor. sensor. Yeah. And, uh, and we have a, a, a mechanical and electrical. Can we explain to our uh, our people, 
Uh, for example, this one is... Well, this is a mechanical tachometer. Um, they okay. are made with uh, marine grade metals, but they can be yeah, used in many different important. applications, you know, like um, in trucks, industrial engines, and they can work with, uh, they can be installed on uh, open flying bridges on, on, uh, on boats, or you can put them on enclosed panels, uh, however you, you prefer. Uh, a lot of people use them, uh, like Mr. Lopez mentioned, uh, a lot of people use them on the engine rooms, uh, so they can have a second reading. For example, if you do have a, um, electronic devices already on ECMs or, or computers, uh, you can use a mechanical uh, device, device. To, so so you can so you can read two different frequencies, or you can have two different readings for the uh, engines, and uh, that's pretty much the main function. What it is. This is very important that the. Uh, Reinforce the explanation of Cesar is about the, the material. It's marine grade material. Uh, those those uh, instruments can work outside uh, or inside of the engine room. Uh, it's designed for a marine environment. It's according with the with the, the recommendation of ABYC and other standards uh, uh, in regarding the quality of the materials. Stainless steel CDS 300 and uh, and uh, aluminum in uh, for the brackets. Uh, aluminum series 5000. This is great. It's marine grade and is it's exclusive for 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 marine application. But uh, some people use in trucks, no, in, in industrial applications. Yes, I mean, uh, um, remember, you know, once it's marine grade, that means that it can be exposed to uh, the environment, and uh, actually they can function on any different applications like generators, um, agriculture, uh, mining, or even off-road vehicles and on-road vehicles as well. Correct. This is uh, the mechanical, and uh, the mechanical in the back have the connection for the cable, no? Yes, that is right. Um, as you can see here, you know, this it has uh, the 1.8 MPT where you can connect uh, the mechanical uh, tachometer cable mm -hmm. here, and it will read uh, through the shaft, and uh, the mechanical gauge, it will read the RPMs through the cable, and also has uh, um, this uh, little screw here, a connection which is the the light bulb you can connect light bulb here the so you bulb. can see uh, a night you know like you can have a display then you can see at night sometimes the engine room of the flight or the flying bridges when you when people are out in the outdoors or fishing commercial fishing uh -huh. they need to have a uh, uh, light so you can see exactly or read the the, the reading the engines yeah. uh -huh. so pretty much it does have it does come with a light bulb so you can cut so you can uh, have a so you can read it at night, pretty much. That's perfect. And this one is the electric, no? That, that's right, yes. This is an electric tachometer, uh, as well as marine, uh, marine grade. And you can, uh, you'll, uh, when you go to our, when you visit our website, dieselpro.com, you'll be able to see the instructions of how to install it. Yeah. And it also comes with a light bulb as well, you know? Yeah. And uh, you and can, cal we can calibrate it as well, you know, with the, uh, or with the reading from the magnetic pickup or the signal from the alternator. From the alternator. It is exactly like I explained in my courses of uh, electricity to install any instrument, a uh, tachometer, uh, oil pressure, temperature, and uh, you have ground in the middle, signal, ignition, and this is the terminal for the light. And here you calibrate the pulses. It is six, six cylinders, eight cylinders. Yeah? Uh, it's uh, simple, no? If this is not complicated, the installation of no, those? No, very, very simple. Yeah, you it's know, generic. It's, yeah, generic. Three, three wires, pretty much what is required. And uh, very simple to calibrate. And it can be used on many different engines, and don't matter how many cylinders. It can be used from two cylinders, like the 271 Detroit diesel engines, and you can use it to 24 cylinders, like the 24B71. So there are not many out there, but yes, you can use it on, on those type of engines. Other thing that I appreciate in those products is uh, number one is uh, the specification to install and a troubleshoot, very clear, very simple. And uh, other other um, important thing that I want to mention is uh, the help desk. That that help desk is wonderful. It's uh, it, it's uh, in Spanish, in English. Uh, they attend the people. They explain. They they dedicate a lot of time to the customers. I think that this is uh, the value of this company, the, the, the help desk. Yes, well then, uh, we, we have a, a group of certified technicians for Detroit Diesel and uh, they work with us. 
And, and at the same time, you know, you, we do we do have certified technicians that, that knows about uh, gauges and we can help you with that. And at the same time, if you visit our website, you can see the uh, installation instructions. Uh, once you visit the gauge, you can you just gotta click on it and you'll be able to see the, all the instructions uh, for installation. Uh, however, you can feel free, you know, just give us a call and we gladly uh, can assist you over the phone as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible. Uh, the quality of the training of uh, the people in the in the in the health decks. Uh, this is the health decks. Uh, I love it. Uh, I sit over there for a couple of hours, and I am impressed about the quality of uh, the training in 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 those guys. And another important thing is uh, the parts. You have a huge stock. Can you see the stock of parts? And uh, you distribute the parts in 180 countries, door to door. That's incredible. Yes, that's right. You know, like uh, we we definitely you know ship everywhere in the world, and um, we do have systems established, and uh, we have very good you know quality control, and uh, the logistics is is amazing. You know, we work with uh, most of the shipping companies like FedEx, UPS, DHL in different countries. In no? different countries, and um, it's very simple. You know, if you want to place an order, you can. Just go, go simple. Go ahead and uh, click on the items, add it to the shopping cart, proceed the checkout instructions, and then um, you can choose from whether pay the duties and taxes in advance, so uh -huh. they can deliver it to you door to door, or you can simply just pay for shipping, and uh, um, you take care of the duties uh, of your country. But definitely, you know, it is something that we that we do have on established, and we can assist the customer uh, on any part of the world. Uh, for me, it's a surprise because uh, I am in this business for uh, more than 20 years and I find a company with a, a review superior to 4.9 because it's a lot of reviews, all of them close to 5. It's, uh, that's incredible. Congratulations, uh, Cesar. I am uh, happy to be here and uh, thank you for inviting me to this wonderful company. And uh, we are going to create, guys, a other set of videos with the, the, the rest of the products. Uh, with other gauge, with other uh, uh, equipment, and with other parts designed for them or distributed for them. Thank you.